Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how to analyse a sample of water for purity. You should then be able to describe how to purify a sample of water by distillation. And this is a required practical so it's important that you learn the details. Ok so in this practical we're looking at water. In previous videos we've explored the idea of potable water. Remember that potable water is safe to drink. Now one key idea that you need to understand is that potable water is not the same as pure water. Remember that pure water contains no dissolved solids, such as salts. Pure water also has a pH of 7, in other words it's neutral. In contrast, potable water often contains dissolved solids, and the pH of potable water may not be 7. Ok, so in this practical we're given a sample of water, and we've got to establish whether the water is pure. The first thing we need to do is check the pH of the water. As we said, pure water has a pH of 7. We can check the pH by placing a small amount of the water onto a piece of universal indicator paper. Universal indicator is green if the pH is 7. If the pH is not 7, then the water sample contains dissolved acid or alkali, and is therefore not pure. Ok, now if the pH is 7, then that does not mean that the water is pure. The water could still contain dissolved solids, so now we need to test for those. To do this we first use a balance to weigh an empty evaporating basin. We need to record the mass. Now we fill the evaporating basin with our water sample and place this on a tripod and gauze. We now use a Bunsen burner to gently heat the water until it's all evaporated. At this point we allow the evaporating basin to cool and then weigh it again. Now if the water sample contained any dissolved solids, then the mass of the empty evaporating basin will have increased. That's because the water has evaporated, but the dissolved solids will have formed crystals on the surface of the evaporating basin. So if our water sample contained any dissolved solids, then it definitely was not pure. However, if the mass of the evaporating basin did not increase, then the water did not contain any dissolved solids and could be pure. Now I should just point out that the water may still contain dissolved gases, so it still might not be pure. However, that's not investigated in this required practical. Ok, now you're also required to explain how to purify water by distillation, so we're going to look at that now. To do that we use this apparatus. We've got a conical flask containing our water sample, and the conical flask is on a tripod and gauze. The top of the conical flask has a delivery tube, and this is pointed into a test tube. The test tube is sitting in a beaker containing ice and water. First we gently heat the water using a Bunsen burner. We want the water to boil gently. At this point the water will evaporate and form water vapour, in other words steam. The water vapour now travels along the collecting tube. When the water vapour enters the cold test tube, it condenses back into liquid water. Now this is distilled water. Distilled water contains no dissolved solids and has a pH of 7. In other words, distilled water is pure water. Remember that you'll find plenty of questions on this required practical in my Eurovision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. 